I'm Mark Nuttall, I'm the project manager for this project and I represent Stirling Group Services. So this is a uh, civil and landscape project for the University of Western Sydney, the Parramatta campus. And here we're doing uh, hydraulic services, uh, stormwater, subsoil drainage, water supply and a little bit of sewer. Uh, we're also doing electrical services, uh, a lot of new light fittings and uh, then we've got uh, after that some concrete works and uh, soft landscaping including planting, uh, sandstone pavers, brick paving etc. The University approached Stirling um, with a request for tender late last year and Stirling submitted their price and the contract was eventually novated to the head contractor. Stirling has had a great relationship with the University of Western Sydney over a number of years. Uh, we currently manage the uh, landscape maintenance for all of the campuses and recently we completed a successful project for them at the Warrington South Campus which was very similar to the, to the one that we have here. This project is going to take four months. Uh, it's a tight time frame but we're confident that we're going to be able to deliver. It's really important that we finish on time because the project will be opened by the Prime Minister. Planning a project like this is all about communication. Talking to our subcontractors, our client, breaking the project down into stages and producing a, a project plan that's going to deliver the project on time for our customer. From a heritage point of view, this project is really interesting. The building behind me is the oldest three-storey building in Australia. When we're doing excavation around, the property, we've uh, been uncovering uh, heritage items such as uh, brick drains and we've been working alongside the archaeologist who has been uh, fantastic to deal with. As we uncover heritage items around this project or even when we're working around some of the heritage items which are known, we take a lot of care to make sure that we don't damage them and we also protect them to make sure that they're available for future generations.